starts with copper. Copper conducts heat and electricity with little resistance. Here it's drawn into a thin wire for cable production. Making copper cables is the Bruxkis family's business. Their conductors move trains, cars and robots and carry energy or data. The copper wire has to be twisted, insulated and stranded. And it's up to Zabine Bruxkis, as technical director of production, to decide precisely how. Of course, there are lots of tips and tricks to putting together a stranded cable like this, especially with such non-standard constructions. But I think I better stop talking right there. There are company secrets, you know. And company secrets are meant to stay in the family. The youngest family member is six-week-old Matti Peter. Will he grow up here too? He definitely will, if for no other reason than I'm totally involved here. So he'll spend lots of time here. I think when I come into the company on the weekend, I'll have him with me a lot. Of course, I hope he'll eventually develop some interest in cables and conductors. Like his mother, Sabine Bruxkis will be running the company. I'm glad my sister's taking it on, so it'll remain in the family's hands. We've known she could do it right from the start. And we've also known that our sister would be the one to take over the business. Peter Bruxkis founded the company in 1947 and passed it on to his son. That was quite a while ago, wasn't it? Yes, 26 years ago. Now Peter Bruxkis is the senior partner. He looks back on many years in the company which he made into a major player. Now SAB takes in more than 90 million euros of annual revenues worldwide. Zabina Bruxkis already has a controlling stake. But the family still makes some decisions together, on things like new investment, for instance. A new production hall will be going up here this year. We still have a couple of empty spots on the world map, South America, the Middle East, Africa. We don't have a strong presence there, and South Africa would be a possible industrial location. But we do have a vision for our future. Still, there are some clouds on the horizon. The economic crisis in southern Europe has cut demand for cables. And Germany is not cheap for any manufacturing involving work by hand. Competitors have moved production to low-wage countries. We're at least twice as expensive as Asian countries, that's clear. But you still have customers. How do they do it? Everything you see around here is headed to Asia, to a German machine maker. We're not at all out of reach for our customers. We know where they have their problems, and we're problem solvers. We're not cable suppliers as much as problem solvers these days. For example, a customer would like to send both data and energy over one cable, with no interference no matter how heavy the load. In the lab, SAB tests the cable to see how many bending cycles it tolerates. It has to be millions. And whenever a problem comes up, Zabina Bruxkas is the one to solve it.